use it for you, someone to get you to switch if they said, hey, this is just a little bit healthier for you. Do you want this option? Like, is that easy? Not really. What's that? Depends on the price. Depends on the price? So your price would be. <laughs> Partially, yes. Partially? Okay. So normally, I would imagine not many people would stop their daily routine just because something is just a little bit healthier. So when we try to promote something based on, hey, here's some general benefits, here's how for everyone in this room, hey, don't you all want to be healthier? That's not necessarily going to truly connect. So who is it that that would truly connect with? Let's talk a little bit more about how to find that perfect customer. When you think about who's going to use your product, traditionally, you know, in the software development team, we're thinking about the user, we might write a persona, we might <coughs> think a little bit about it, but does that really carry over from development to when you take something to market? To find our ideal customer, we have to think a little bit deeper. We want to look at you know, where are they, what location, who are they, what behaviors do they have, what are they doing, what are their interests, what's a day in their life like, and what do they like, what demographics make up your ideal customer. Not just anyone you could sell to, but who are you truly targeting? 